Okay, the guy I bought this from told me to double check the valve covers. He thought they might need changing, so um, this hood just lifts right up and it's going to lift right up out of here. I'm just going to pull it forward a little bit until that that latch is free and then pull it up and the hood should come off. Now, i got to unhook these two. So to get to the valve covers, I'm going to have to take these uh, screws screws off around here, but also this here is the fuel pump. So here's one of the valve covers here. Um, okay, and here's the other one on this side. So they still have the metal ones, which people say do leak. Let's see. Okay, this one here does seem to be leaking a little bit. And so I'm going to definitely change that one out. And this one over here does not look like it's leaking. But if, if the other side's fairly straightforward and easy, I'll probably just do this one too. I, there is some oil down on that plate there, but I can't tell exactly where it came from. While I'm down in here, I'm going to put some silicone grease on these moving parts here. Okay, so I'm just using, it's a T30, and I'm using a quarter inch socket. Uh, the quarter inch drive and also an adapter to go to 3 8 okay these are coming out easy spraying them down uh, with some WD-40 helped I think but this one's really greasy so this definitely been leaking okay I got three of them out now for some reason this one down here is different does not look like that was from the factory I'll see if I can get it Okay, that was an 11 millimeter head. That one's been leaking too. Okay, I'm going to tap on this a little bit with a hammer. Maybe put some WD-40 around the sides. Okay, um, I'm going to clean the gasket material off of here. Just use a... Actually, I like to go backwards on, on it. This sharp blade will, it can cut into that metal. When you order your new updated valve covers, make sure you get one with bolts, new bolts, because the new cover is a little bit thicker. And I'll, I'll put a note in the description which ones I got. So... I'm going to clean this up with the blade and put some, um, rub some brake cleaner on it and get it all clean. Okay, notice somebody has nicked that, maybe with a screwdriver or something. Hopefully the new gasket material will seal that. I'm going to cover up the valves while I do the top here. You don't want this getting in your engine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Got that all cleaned up. Cleaned up the bottom out here and I cleaned out the screw holes a little bit. And so it's ready for the new cover now. This left valve cover is a little different. It's got a breather tube in it. And mine felt a little old, so I ordered a new one. Um, now, when you order these two, uh, I, I just ordered two of the same thing. This side doesn't come with a hole in it. You gotta drill your hole. And I even saw some on there that had the hole down here. So be careful when you're ordering those. I'll put a link in the description for what I got. 